Hello everyone, welcome to this video and today I will be showing you how to draw 3D figures in Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, I'm going to teach you how to create this thing that you're seeing right here. I created this completely on Photoshop. And well, uh, I'm going to start with the tutorial. First of all, if you want to do this, you have you will have to know a little bit about like Managing points and stuff like that, you know, like where you have like two points and you create the perspective like this. You will know, you will, <laughs> you need to know how to do this. So if you don't know it already, go watch a tutorial or something because it, it takes a little bit of time to understand. It's not that complicated, it's very easy, but it's gonna, uh, you need to know how to do it. So I'm gonna be doing a figure with two vanishing points I'm gonna put one here and one and the other one over here right so first of all I'm gonna teach you two, th two tricks that will be useful for this tutorial if you click here let's say oh sorry let's say you click here you have this little dot here if you press if you press the shift and you click on other point look what happens as you can see, it creates a line between the two points. So you have to click and then shift and click on other part. And it creates a straight line. And if you want to do like a horizontal line or a vertical line, uh, do the same, but just press like shift and hold it while you're drawing the line. As you can see, so you create like a completely straight line, and that's it. So knowing this, I'm gonna start to do it. Here I have the two vanishing points, right? So I'm gonna start with this line in the middle. As you can see here, I have like the perspective on the sides. And that's it. Now I have the figure here. I have like the reference lines. Okay, and that's it. This was really easy to do because it's like a like a cube but if you want to do like a more complicated shape it would take a lot of time uh, a more time not necessarily a lot but anyways once we get to this point we have to go here to view and click and select this option that says rulers right so what is it gonna do is it's gonna create these rulers over here as you can see and this is cool because we can click and drag so it's gonna create like horizontal lines or vertical lines and I'm gonna right now I'm gonna tell you how this is gonna help us to create the the 3d shape so if you want to erase them all just go here and clear guides and that's it so look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna explain it later but now I'm just gonna be putting like the rulers or like the guidelines on the corners of the shape as you can see I have this one here and this one a little bit lower here now this is for this one and now another one for this other corner right here a little bit like this okay and uh, the one in the middle is important as well so here it is I'm gonna zoom a little bit so I can put it better 
and the one over here. So yeah, I think I'm done with this. Like I have all the points already. Okay, now once we get to this point, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to pick the the pen tool. I think you already know what this is. The pen tool. So anyways, it's this little thing here, so select it. So why we did all these lines? Because with the pen tool, if we click on the on a corner, it creates the point exactly on the corner that we are going to do, right? So if we click here, it's going to put the point exactly in the corner. And we can do like completely horizontal lines or completely vertical lines. Because if we do it like this, it's really hard. As you can see, it's a little bit like to the right. So it's really hard. But using these guidelines is going to be really easy. So, as you can see, I'm going to start doing this upper part here. And I'm going to fill it with like blue. So we click, right click, and we can say make selection. And fill it. Or we can do other thing as well, which is right click uh, fill path and click OK and that's it it's gonna fill it automatically now I'm gonna select another color like a darker color for this other part I'm gonna fill it as well and now I'm gonna select a darker color for this one and fill it and that's it now I'm gonna erase these lines here uh, clear guides and the lines underneath as well and as you can see I have here my 3D shape with perspective and everything and it looks really clean looks really perfect and yeah, that's pretty much it. Because if we did this without all those lines, it would be really hard. Like for example, if we did like this, <laughs> and then we have to do like the other part exactly like this, it would be really hard. So I really recommend you to use those guidelines, those little blue guidelines because it really makes it a lot easier and yeah that's pretty much all the tutorial I hope this video helps you a lot and remember like if you like this video in my channel I have more videos like this I have more tutorials on Flash and Photoshop so if you are learning go check them out or subscribe because I'm uploading videos every single day bruh so yeah if you want to learn more in my channel, I have a lot of knowledge of this. I have a lot of videos, tutorials and stuff, and drawings as well. So yeah, I hope this video helped you a lot, and see you on the next videos. Bye.